Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Magic the Gathering, where we are playing some sealed campaign. We finished that last video, and it's time to do some multiplayer. We're going to see uh, if there's anybody that we can join. We'll join this game. No, we don't appear to be able to join. So, how about if we create a sealed match? Okay, so we are now starting a duel with Lord of Leviathans. And this hand looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Lord of Leviathans gets to go first. And anything first turn? Mm, no, nothing first turn from him. So we're going to throw a forest out there. I have nothing else I can do. And it's Lord of Leviathan's turn. Oh wait, Lord of Leviathan's, is that the, the deck name or the player name? And Lab Code is the player name. I don't know. Anyway, what do we got here? We got a sliver. It's a 2-2. Two -two. And what is all slivers get vigilance. So he has vigilance. All right. Let's go ahead and throw down the island and the rampant growth. And we'll grab another forest. So next turn we have four mana and we'll be able to put out our 4-4 four, four beast here. That's what uh, we're going for. And what is this? Uh, Master of Diversion, so every time that card attacks, it gets to tap target creature that I control. So I'm going to take two here. I'm down to 18. And nothing else. He's all tapped out. I play my other forest, and my 4-4 four four comes out. So he will be attacking and tapping that next turn, but uh, I do have another one. So unless he puts out another Master of Diversion, oh, he's going to pacify it. Just, that's just great. So it looks like I'll be taking four. And he's going to tap my Pacified Beast. Awesome. And I'm down to 14. Uh, this was a good start, but uh, man, that pacify hurt me a little bit there. So, let's go ahead and play the Sphinx. Get a big blocker out there, even though he will be tapping it, and I will take four again next turn. That should hopefully put a stop to his 2-2 uh, two -two assault here that he's doing. What's he thinking about? Whenever a source deals damage to Bell Tower Sphinx, that source's controller puts that many cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. So that's getting tapped. And I'm down to 10. He has taken no damage so far, so this is not quite going as well as I would have hoped. But, uh, how much mana do I have? I have six, so I can play the beast. And I can play the recluse, but I'm going to save it for the essence scatter. Because he can put out some pretty scary green creatures, probably. So let's go ahead and continue. And I am going to... Let's see... I'm going to go ahead and skip and save for blocking. He can no longer just throw damage at me like he's been doing, so that's a positive. He puts out another sliver. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll let him do that. He uh, Is he attacking? No, no attack. Excellent. Excellente. Alright, so we have an unsummon, 
We'll go ahead and play the Recluse. And does he have anything with um, reach? No, he does not. So I'm going to continue. And let's go ahead and attack with the 4-4. Four four. See what he blocks with. And he takes four. Excellent. So we continue. Things are moving along here for me. I am uh, making rampant growth. I cannot counter that because uh, Essence Scatter only allows me to counter a creature. Is he going to attack? And no, he's not. All right. So I have uh, a Mind Spring, so I can draw some cards here. And I'm going to do that for... I want to have three mana left, so I can do it for two. Or I can do it for th three and be able to... Essence Scatter still, but not be able to unsummon. Let's go ahead and do that for three. All right, so we continue. And I'm going to attack with the 4 4. Let's see what he does. He's going to block with. And I'm going to, let's see, of course I'm going to kill the Master of Diversion, but I'm actually going to unsummon the Sliver. So the Master of Diversion dies, and my beast survives. Whoa, what does this do? Okay. Each opponent who casts a spell this turn can't attack with creatures. Each opponent who attacked with a creature this turn can't cast spells. Okay. So, let's see. The... I really, <laughs> really wish I could have Essence Scattered that. Oh, well. So, uh, what do we got here? We got the Scroll Thief. He's at 16, so I'm going to continue. I guess I have to just play skip attack, play the pack leader. And that's all I'm going to do. He can no longer tap creatures when he attacks, so he can't attack with his big boy here because I'm going to block it. Oh, he's going to hunt the weak at first. Oh, he hunt the weak my pack leader instead of my uh, recluse. That's interesting. That's very interesting. And no, oh, yes. Excellent. So we now have a... Uh, Advocate of the Beast out, which puts plus one, plus one tokens on beasts I control. We'll play the Scroll Thief as well. We still have enough for the Essence Scatter. And how does this get a token? Hmm. What do we want to do now? We will continue. And we'll play the land. And we'll get, it doesn't really matter, a forest, I guess. And of course, my 
Beast without pacifism gets 5-5. Five, five. Uh, let's go ahead and essence scatter that. He might have been baiting the counter, but... Let's see if he was. He only has one card left, I mean... Can't be all that crazy. What are you thinking about, sir? He attacks with the 6-7. Alright. Let's see if he can do anything about that recluse. Did you just make a mistake, sir? <laughs> yes. He is now trying to get out of this, and I don't think he can. You just made a terrible mistake, didn't you? Oh, he's so mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let's put our fairy invaders out. I probably should have saved that for his turn, but what are you going to do? And we will attack with... Yeah, let's attack with those guys and see what he does here. One creature down, he takes two. I get a beast counter. And it's your move, sir. this a sliver to all slivers get plus one plus one so he has a three three and a two two both have vigilance what's solemn offering destroy target artifact or enchantment you gain four life oh you destroyed my pacifism in order to gain four life interesting choice um i'll go ahead and block uh you have no cards left so I don't know exactly why you did that, but, uh, okay. And this is looking extremely good. Let's go ahead and use the ability for fun. Oh, giant growth. Yes, please. I will cast the card without paying its mana cost. Let's go ahead and cast it on something that he can't block, like the fairy invaders. And we will go ahead and attack with the whole gang. I don't know if that's the game, but uh, it's getting very close. He blocks the 2-3. Sliver dies, and he's at minus one. And that's it. I am a masterful strategist. What do you think about that? Well, that's it for right now. So I will uh, talk with you next time. Thanks for watching.